There's no excuse for poor quality audio in your videos thanks to microphones like this because if you're looking for an entry level microphone that's going to give you an ideal route into voice recording, podcasting or just creating in general then why not consider the Toner TC777. Hey, it's Andre. Inside this box is the Toner TC777, which Toner have kindly provided for me to give you the opportunity to see me test and review this microphone. Before we go any further, let's open it up and see what you get inside the box. As far as unboxings go, I guarantee you this will be one of the most straightforward ones that you've seen. In the box, you get a two year warranty card, the instruction manual, and quite unusually for a microphone bundle that I've not seen before, the whole microphone set up with the Toner TC777 pre-assembled in the box. Not sure what I think about that because sometimes I do like unpackaging and removing each separate component. We'll go through each part separately in a moment, but first let's go through the attachments. A detachable, sturdy, but quite weighty mini tripod that has rubber feet, that as well as protecting your table surface and preventing the old setup from moving around your table. They also aid in that shock absorption. It comes with a pop filter attached to this flexible metal gooseneck arm. In addition to the pop filter, you also get a detachable foam windscreen. Whether you prefer to use the pop filter or foam windscreen, the pop filter itself is detachable, but the arm that it sits on is a permanent attachment to the cell. So if you prefer only using the foam windscreen, then you'll have to make do with bending that flexible arm out of the way. But that flexibility of the arm is advantageous in getting you to that ideal position between you speaking and the microphone if you do use the pop filter. The microphone comes with a non-detachable 1.5 meter USB-A cable, capable of working over a USB 2.0 data port. I like the length of the cable, which means that you should be able to find the right spot on your table for this microphone to live. The downside to this cable is that I'd like to see it be detachable, mainly for two distinct reasons. Firstly, because if you've ever got to remove the microphone from the mount, then you've got to feed that cable through as well. And secondly, if the cable were to ever become damaged, then you're almost having to commit to getting another microphone, rather than if it were just a detachable, just throwing away the faulty cable and replacing it with a new one. The lightweight microphone itself comes only in blue and is made out of plastic except the metal grill surrounding the condenser. Its tapered lower half makes it easier for the microphone to fit in the shock mount. There are no buttons, dials or inputs on this microphone so any alterations will have to be done within your sound software on your computer, which some people may like, others not, but for this entry level microphone that sits as your point and speak device then this should suit most people. For all you audio files out there, the microphone has a frequency response of 100Hz to 16kHz, an input sample rate of 14.1kHz, a 16-bit bitrate, output impedance of 680 ohms, a signal-to-noise ratio of 56 decibels, and a sensitivity of around minus 38 decibels. Looking at the shock mount that the microphone fits into, the microphone is held into place by elastic cords. These are able to absorb any shocks and prevent them from being transferred to your microphone and interfere with your audio recording. When the microphone is placed within the shock mount, it sits nicely suspended within that elasticated arrangement, with the part of the microphone poking through at the bottom. Within the mount, you're able to freely move the microphone and tilt it up to about 180 degrees to find that perfect angle that leaves the microphone facing you, allowing you to talk directly into it. In this setup, which is great for portability and just keeping it simple, the microphone stands at about 10 inches tall, which for my normal sitting position may require me either to position the setup on something that makes the starting position a little higher, tilt the microphone towards me, or in some cases detach the mini tripod and attach it to a boom arm like this that gives me loads of flexibility. Installation of this microphone is simple, and because it's plug and play, that's all you need to do. Plug it into any Windows, Mac or Linux computer, and even directly into your PlayStation 4, and all you will need to do is make sure that input sound on your device is set to the Toner TC777 microphone. So what does this microphone actually sound like? Let's go and check it out. All of the audio from this point onwards will be using the Toner mic, which I plugged into my Mac Mini, opened up Audacity, and I'm recording all of the audio on there. Within programs like Audacity, you'll be able to customize sensitivity and make any other changes that you feel are necessary. But for this, I've just adjusted the sensitivity, so my voice is a bit louder. 
I have noticed when recording into Audacity, the microphone is only able to record using a mono recording channel. So if you want to record in stereo, just need to edit the recorded audio in post. If you want to see a video on that, just let me know in the comments below. Now for the next bit, I'm going to move the pop filter out of the way. Now because this microphone is a cardioid condenser mic that is only going to allow input sound from the front and reject or dampen sound coming from all other directions. So if you're going to speak into it, the best way to speak is from this position where I am with the toner logo facing you, which is going to portray the best sound. As opposed to say from the, the top if I was speaking like that or from any other direction, which at this moment I'm probably guessing you're not going to be able to hear me very well or if at all. So you probably can hear me better now, and this is from the front, and as I said, the best position that this microphone is going to allow sound and hear you. Obviously, the closer you are to the microphone and the better your voice is going to sound. So this is me speaking directly into the microphone, probably as close as you'd want to be about 10 inches away. This is me, double the distance away from the microphone, and me about three times that distance away. If you're using the microphone for conferences, meetings, or something creative like streaming, then you want to know what the sounds of your actions, like typing on the keyboard, are going to sound like through the microphone. Well, this is me. I've got a keyboard like right here, so I'm going to be typing away at about 500 words per minute. Take my word for it. So let's just see what it sounds like through the microphone, which is directly below the keyboard. 500 words per second. There we go, I've typed loads of words there. How did it sound? Just let me know in the comments below. I think the sound quality that you get from this microphone is really good, really clear, and when set to the correct sensitivity levels within your audio program, does a really good job at blocking out any background noise, and thanks to the cardioid polar pattern, make sure that the predominant sound that it's going to pick up is from the front of the microphone, making this an ideal microphone for those wanting to start podcasting, those who often take or have video conferences, anything that requires that front-on communication, whether you're working from home or in the office, and thanks to its portability, even both both transported from the office to your home. Now, if you're endlessly scrolling for microphones, you're gonna find there's gonna be a load of microphones that are a lot more expensive than this one, but will sound a lot worse than it as well. At this price, it's a good starting point if you're looking for a microphone that allows you to make a start if you're currently using, say, built-in computer microphones or ones attached to earphones and you're dissatisfied with the quality you're getting. With this microphone, it will definitely be a step up. Its simplicity, having no buttons or dials, will just make it easy for anyone to use. And its size, something that's not going to absolutely take over the desk that you sit on. Now, if that sounds like you, then this microphone would definitely be a good choice for you. I'll leave the links to this Toner TC777 microphone in the description below. And thank you to Toner for providing this microphone for this review. It's greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this Toner TC777 microphone. Press the like button if you liked this video and subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.